I do have skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. G'day guys, it is, see here, 10 past 5 on the 31st of May. Unlike last night, as you can see, there doesn't appear to be a cloud in the sky. Now if I'm standing here and looking that way south, if I come 90 degrees round, just to about the, you know, the, say, slight left hand side of this post, with the wisteria climbing up it, um, it's that's due east. Okay. Um, if I point directly that way towards this tree, if I was stepping over, but to the edge of this tree or that middle poplar tree in the far distance there, that's due north. And if I point that way towards the tall pine tree at the end there, then that's west. Okay. So. We've got our bearings now. Set up a treat tonight, seeing it's going to be such a nice night. We've got the heater all set up to stop the condensation, you know, hitting the lenses and causing our problems. On this side here, we have the P90, the Nikon Coolpix P90. That's set up just to do start uh, or a time lapse of the actual movement of the individual stars. Um, if I set it off as soon as we get to a nice darkness, we should get a fairly decent shot before the moon rises over there in the east so and on this side we've got the cool Pix p900 he's going to be set up to do the star trails um, i've got spare batteries all charging so hopefully we're going to have an excellent night and i'm going to try and do it for for more than one cycle so hopefully get about two and a half to five hours worth of motion so you can see the uh, what i see every night um, none of what i'm watching or <laughs> are trying to show you guys is anything new to me the whole time I've stood out this doorway in the 22 years I've stood in this doorway and looked out that way there has always been the southern cross going around the clock face never have I seen any sort of parallax and eventually once I map that for a center point I'm then going to move him around about 30 degrees each time um, I have a portable tripod over there for my apparatus as well so I can take that where I get a clear line of sight to west same with north, um, I might even whip out the chainsaw and chop some of those trees down and um, you can see the entire motion of what I see um, I can easily show you what I see southward, northward it's a little bit harder because of the trees so yeah again I can set that up but I'd like to actually do that so you have a really clear line of sight off to the north um, and you'll see um, if you can imagine the Milky Way, at one end you've got the Southern Cross and the South Celestial Point. Um, then, at, say, the other rotating point, you've got Polaris. Halfway between um, Polaris and the South Celestial Point is what you'd call the Dark Horse, which is in the middle of the, um, in the, middle of the Milky Way. Its feet always point southward. There's a, a video from Malaysia where the lady actually does star trails and shows you northward and southward what she sees. She sees just the top of the clock rotation that I see and she can see Polaris and the dark horse is almost directly above her. Now where I am, I see the Southern Cross and it, all its beauty, the whole 35, 36 degrees that I can see of the whole circle. And this way, um, you barely just see the dark horse coming up and going past okay so again that's my viewable range my limitation as to what I can see before the horizon and the sky meet and they always meet at eye level I don't care what you say there's no freaking curve so we're going to get into this tonight and uh, hopefully I'll have some good stuff to show you just 10 past 6 on the 31st of May as you can see there okay We've got this dual rig that I showed you an hour or two ago. Um, we've got it set up for 35, yeah, 36. Rough enough. And this one's going to be doing the time lapse. This one's going to be the star trials.
Um, it is now 8.35 in the afternoon or in the evening. Um, there's about probably 15 minutes left on the rig as it's taking its shots. The Star Trail one on that side lasted about a, an, oh, an hour or so, so I'm guessing the battery was just a little bit to put on that. But we, were, I didn't want to risk moving anything because just the slightest knock, go figure, stuffs up the spy, star spirals. So if we were moving at 1040, do you think that might make an effect on the perfect spirals? Because literally I need to breathe on this wrong and the spiral notices the jar under a long exposure. Alright, so there is no fucking way that I can possibly be moving. I must be at a stationary spot. We're still at 36 degrees there. Okay. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for this to, to finish its set. We'll see how it's turned out now, shall we? After it shows you the picture, it'll go black for a second and turn back on on the top left corner. It'll tell you how many minutes will be. Okay, it's about 14 minutes or so left on that and I'm going to hook up the AC power to the 900 and we'll back out and try and get a second round catch this later I will look for you. I will find you. Good luck.